Morning YouTube and I'm J-Dub. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you joining in. So we're working on the Challenger again and today I got the Ultimate Seats Backrest Relocation Kit. Okay, so the whole point of this kit is to move the backrest back. I believe it's about an inch and a half. Um, not only will that give us more room on the bike, but uh, if we end up upgrading the seats sooner than later, which we plan on doing, we're going to need to do that anyway because the bolts for the luggage rack uh, could possibly interfere with the seat. Whether we go with a Russell Daylong or an Ultimate seat or whatever, we're going to need this kit. So we figured well, we'll just go ahead and get the kit and uh, that way it gives us a little bit more room on the bike, but also uh, we already got that part done when we go to upgrade our seat. So the only thing that kind of sucks about the relocation kit is that by doing the relocation kit, I can't add the quick disconnects on the uh, bags. Kind of sucks, but, you know, just kind of par for the course, I guess. It is what it is. So let's take a look at the kit. All right, so it looks like uh, this is basically it. Comes nicely uh, packaged and everything. Got some Loctite in there, some spacers, the uh, the bars and all that. We also got another set of instructions. This kit costs like hundred and twenty five dollars or something plus shipping, I guess. So, I mean, not the most expensive mod, but you know, not the cheapest either. So the only other thing is I've got coming today. I got a shorty antenna coming because this is interfering too much, and I don't like this being way out here. I think that looks just terrible. So we're going to put a shorty antenna on this. It doesn't really matter because I don't really use the, uh, I don't really use the FM radio anyway. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. First thing you got to do is remove the sissy bar. Not hard with the, the quick disconnect. You just flip up the, the locks, pull it off. I've already shown this on other videos, but now we got to remove the bags. It is a six millimeter Allen and you have two on each side, so we're gonna go ahead and remove those. Once you get the bags out of the way, you have to get these bolts here. There's little rubber grommets, just pull them off, not hard. And then you just gotta take these off. Easy peasy. Put that to the side, and then take the other one off. Okay, I think I said it, those are 11 millimeter. Uh, take those off, and then you're left with this. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up since I already have it all off right now. And, uh, yeah, well, on to the next step. Okay, guys, so this is all the hardware here. Uh, there's a little bit more over there, obviously, but this is the these are the new spacers and stuff. Basically, what you're going to do is take one of these, and you're going to put it onto the front here with just a little bit of Loctite. There's a long threaded end and a short threaded end. The short threaded end is what goes into here. Okay. Once you get a finger tight, guys, apparently you take a 13 millimeter open end wrench just to snug it up. Okay, guys, there's a U-shaped mount as well. There's two of them. This goes to the back of the bike, and this has a short bolt and a long bolt as well. You use the short bolt end to mount up to the back of the bike. Uh, lock, just a little dab of black, blue Loctite will do you. And yeah. Hook that up to the uh, hook that up to the uh, the bike there. I think that's how it's supposed to look, and you keep it fingered tight. Okay, guys, this part here, uh, you have a uh, Allen nut right there, and a flange, or uh, sorry, an Allen bolt and a flange nut that goes through the original hardware. Uh, you want it on the inside. You want it on the inside of the bracket that is equipped. You get two of these brackets, okay? Make sure you lock tight that, and yeah. Okay, guys. So here's the uh, here's the bolt. Here's the nut, and you're gonna do the same thing with the uh, with the back part of this. The only difference is gonna be that it's not gonna go on the inside. It's gonna go on the outside. Okay, guys. That's what it's gonna look like when it's said and done. So now you're gonna put this on the exposed studs here. And I think that's why they want this finger tight for right now, is just so this lines up. But once you get this lined up, I'm going to go ahead and say you're going to want to tighten this up. 
The kit comes with four of these rubber washers. That's where you put here and here. Okay. And then you re uh, you put the bag back up against there. Should look like that. Now we're going to put the stainless steel washers here and here. And then these acorn nuts come with the uh, with the kit. And we're going to go ahead and put those on there like that. And then 13 millimeter wrench. And we're going to go ahead and tighten those up. Okay, and that is secure, guys. Doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty much like stock. Uh, <laughs> you just have that little extra extension there. And there is definitely clearance there for these, uh, for these mounting points for the sissy bar. Now we're gonna repeat for the other side. All right, guys, so once you get the other side done, that's how it should look. We're gonna put the sissy bar on and yeah, hopefully this will look good. All right, guys. Wow. Yeah, that definitely moved it back. This was sitting like right here. That definitely moved it back pretty good. So we should have a lot more room on the bike. And when we go to upgrade our seat, I think that's going to work out good. And this is solid, guys. I was a little nervous about it, but I think as long as you lock tight the bolts, I don't think you're going to have an issue. Like I said, I'm going to do, after we do a couple of rides, I'm going to go back in, make sure everything's still snug. I want that everything to be tight, but they do it say in the instructions implicitly to make sure you lock tight everything. So, like I said, I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited about that. All right, guys, so that's basically all I got for you. I think this is going to work out really well. It doesn't look so different that it takes away from the looks of the bike. I just think that's going to give me and my wife a lot more room on this. Plus, like I said, when we go to do a seat in the future, whether it's an ultimate seat or it's a uh, just about any custom seat, any any aftermarket seat, you're going to want to probably move that sissy bar back because if you don't, it's going to interfere with the luggage rack bolts and it may not even fit with the sissy bar on there. So this is something I'm just kind of doing now to give us some more room, but also because I think we're going to have to do it in the future regardless. So anyway, you have any questions? Leave a comment down below. I try to get everybody back in the comments that I can. I appreciate every one of you guys. The channel's been growing. It's really cool. I'm constantly bringing videos out right now with I'm doing mods of this Challenger. I got some stuff coming up for the darts soon. So please, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I, uh, I, I'm just blown away how awesome you guys all are. So anyway, I think that's it for me today. So uh, until next video.